Um, colleges fell like playing card hell, and the tears on the face of the wise boy came trembling down through the rumbling ground, and the missionary mystic of peace love, I stumbled back to cry. Among the clouds, kicking back the pebbles from the free cloud mountain track. So just me, does it feel like we're finally coming to the end of the road? Gabe Kona. Bacona. Or if you're from Laporte, you might pronounce it Cabacona. <laughs> the whole extent of the trail. End of the trail. Are we living in the uh, end times? You know, are we got are we the generation that's finally gonna get the mark of the beast? You know, it's a human number. Number is 666. Da, 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 da. I lived alone. My mind was blank. I don't know. I mean, things have gotten so crazy on every front, at least in like current events or whatever. You know, I see these videos of the homeless camps, and it's not. Let's be clear, it's not. A, it's not, it's not a homeless crisis. It's a drug crisis. It's zombies have come to life in real life. Zombies are real. They're in every major city now. These just blocks of and hundreds, thousands of people just. You know, hunched over on heroin. And who knows? I mean, they say drugs like heroin and uh, meth. And uh, what's the thing that killed Prince? Fentanyl. And they say, oh, yeah, these drugs are getting smuggled in from Mexico or whatever. And then you look at all, you know, every news story has something to do with either abortion or transgenderism or racism, you know, some sort of divisive thing. <laughs> Dating, you know, marriage is dead. Uh... You know, most babies are born to single moms and fathers who have nothing to do with them. Uh, you know, people march and scream and fight in the street, riots in the streets. You know, they talk like, <laughs> like racism is worse now than it was in the old days. Your story is that slavery is still going on in Africa. You know, children and families, you know. Uh, you know, the war, you know, the most popular movie right now has to do with child sex trafficking. And like most of Hollywood has come out against it. And the media's like, hey, don't watch that movie. There's nothing to see here. Yeah, you stupid conspiracy theorists. What? Really? I don't think so. Why are you guys, why are you guys protesting? <laughs> I think we all know why. But it just feels like, you know, time's up. Things seem to be speeding up as 
like the water that's going down the drain. Things are going down the drain. And so stuff is speeding up as it, you know, wars and rumors of war. And Christians are all on the edge of their seat looking in the sky for Jesus to come back. And the four horsemen. And you get mixed accounts of what, whether or not, nobody can give you a straight answer. What, what is this, the, uh, where all the Christians get taken up before the tribulations? How is, how are we not living in the time of tribulations? This is another thing I've always found was kind of weird. You know, when it comes to the Bible, I take the Old Testament description of the Bible literally and I really pay attention to anything that Jesus himself said allegedly but when in the Bible he's telling the people to keep watch that he will return in their lifetime and that uh, you know all these things signs and you'll see will show his return as, you know, like, it was kind of cryptic about it. But if that was 2,000 years ago, why would you bother telling that to people? It's like, okay, watch for these signs for the end, when the end is near. You know, I mean, you'll be long dead before the signs ever appear. But your great, 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 great grandson. So I don't know what to make of that. Then sometimes he just kind of goes, okay, is this just old man depression? Saying, I sure hope it's the end times. I'm sick of living. You know, you know, did it all. Done. Let's, uh, let's wrap it up. <laughs> Party's over. I mean, that's a pretty good, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger climbed the ladder. He came over to this country as an immigrant, mm -hmm. worked his way up to become a movie star. Yeah. Huh. And he married a, essentially a Kennedy, <laughs> yeah. became governor, then knocked up the maid and denied it. And, you know, everyone gives him a pass. Oh, he's the Terminator. I'm not going to judge him for cheating and lying for years to his wife and his son by not even owning up to that. That's your son. That's, you know. How did uh, Arnold's son feel when he found out, yeah, you know that movie star you like so much and we, I sometimes clean his house? Yeah, Mom? He's your dad. Your dad's the Terminator. Really? That's great. No, nah, not so much. So you see, he's already married with his own family. And he doesn't love you. And he doesn't want anything to do with you. Well, I'm going to go back over there and clean his mansion. Because I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger's maid. Okay, see you, Mom. Yep, see you later, kid. And off she goes. Eventually, the the... That kid looks so much like Arnold Schwarzenegger. The striking is, un the, 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 the resemblance is undeniable. And so Arnold had to one day finally go, yes, you are indeed my son. What'd your mom name you? I don't know. I can't be bothered to remember. I'm going to call you Little Taco because I'm also a racist. Because, you know, my dad was a Nazi, a real Nazi. Because <laughs> I'm... Arnold Swartza. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do what, sweetie? You know what you're doing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, feel the noise. Girls rock. I think my most racist and funniest joke I've ever done on the show was uh, when I talked about the N-word. 
And I said, you know, the N-word, uh, they say, uh, is the worst thing you can say. And I think the MF word is way worse than the N-word. And, you know, who are... And, but the funny thing, the irony is, only white people are offended by those terms. Uh, African-American person will call each other the N-word. And people say, no, no, they're saying nigga. Soft R, that's fine. So, no, it's the same word, you guys. And, you know, who else is uh, the only people who ever really use the MF word, which is way worse, way worse of a word to call somebody. Um, and I said, who is, who's the only group of people who ever use the MF word? Mm -hmm. N-words. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> What did I say? What did I say? You glared at Long ago and so far away Something I did But there are some things that are best kept hidden When a whole comes crashing down When it Crashing down, it just won't do. Crashing down, now I hope it come crashing down, crashing down. Joined for years, but we're worlds apart. And, and the, the kids, kids are grown and gone. And why does it feel? Why does it feel so wrong? And it seems like we've come to an end. Will you still? My only friend, oh, I feel like we've come to an end. But will you please be my only friend when it all comes crashing down? When it all comes crashing down, it just okay. Crashing down, not open. Come crashing down, crashing down, crashing down. Ashes to ashes, 
crashing off I mean, it's just so funny. But it is. I mean, political correctness is a concern for rich, white, liberal women. They're the ones marching for the other people, the oppressed, you know. Black people are not concerned with, you know, what Indians call them, <laughs> white people call them. You know. But that is what I love about Anishinaabe people. We really don't care. You can't insult an Indian by calling him an Indian. Hey, that's an I word. That's our word. We can call each other I, I words, but you call us, what, First Nations, Native Americans, Indigenous people. You know. And the very premise is kind of racist because it's like the liberals come up and like, hey, what is a term we can use to generalize everybody who lived on this continent before Europeans came here. You know, of the 400 different tribes and whatnot, and all the different languages and diversity in every way possible. What is one term that we can use that won't sound, you know, racist? You know, we can't use Indian anymore. And we're like, what? What context do you want to sum up every Indian person in the country? I prefer the ruthless savages. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that could also be the name of our punk band. The ruthless savages. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. Come on, feel the noise. Call that good milk, I Miigwechka, bizendawi egg. Thank you for listening. If you'd like to support the show, please click the link to our GoFundMe campaign. We're trying to raise $8,000 and get a new camera. I got, a, I got a camera phone here that's pretty decent, but this one here is kind of grainy and cheap. And, uh, you know, we actually got a bunch of stuff we need to pay. Otherwise, uh, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to get notifications. Give us thumbs up. And I will see you again. Giga wabamin minowa. So just me. Does it feel like we're finally coming to the end of the road? The Gabe Kona. Gabe Kona. Or if you're from Laporte, you might pronounce it Cabacona. <laughs> the whole extent of the trail. End of the trail. Are we living in the uh, end times? <laughs>